Sonic Generation on Steam, other odd vicinity platforms, is a game of warm bath sensation creativity with a cup of tea that tastes like Blue Hedgehog Entertainment flavor. What I define is that it's really slippery and babbling into an artistic fantasy. Every sharp detail is really worth the presumptuous ticket of fast speed, travel, and abstract quickness. The music is very greatly made into futuristic statements and it's imploding what it does to your extra chopping ears of vaporized fun sounding. The bosses are not that many, but they have creative ways to defeat them and a toll witness of satisfaction. The only boss I really hate, and it's not recommended, if you're going to beat this game for the completion progress, is the final boss, and it's really frustrating. The controls can be a division of thumbs down Spartans, giving you a quarter dump finger. They're not bad, they're just not responsive, and if you're not careful enough, you can fall off the comfy ledges and endure sore bops and bruises for no particular reason. Other than those minor complaints, the game is beautifully culinary triumphs any Sonic game for a long time. Even though they are remastered levels in fine HD treatment, I will say it's a glorious lamp shady painting that has such a crispy charm to it and never gets old after the viewing of the landscapes and bottle ramping buildings. You also get some missions to complete and some other nifty differences to make the replay value go upper in ranks. For what I played, this game is an intensely good time with delicious hot dogs of Sonic the Hedgehog nature. I would give this game a 9.9 slash 10, almost a 10 but some things make this game lesser than the top score it needed to be. Love the Burrito Master.